Awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, the second Game Week Retro of B612 Quizly. Uh, for those of you who are coming here for the first time, uh, this is a fairly informal thing. Um, we're basically just going to go over the questions again in quads from, from this week's question set. And in each case, I've tried to name some people whom I want to ask how they got how they did well in these categories. And I figured if we can hear, the, hear their stories and stuff, maybe it'll be interesting. I don't know. Um, I, it's very important to me that this not be indulgent, indulgent. So we're going to keep a timer of 45 minutes and we will stop at 40, the 45 minute mark, no matter how much of the questions that we've finished. Okay, we'll call this off at the front Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll go quad by quad. Uh, I've got some people uh, named who did well in that quad. If you're in that uh, sheet, please speak up. If nobody from that sheet is available, then some volunteers speak up and I'll just ask you the questions instead. Uh, a couple of links, I should just share this with you. I'll put this in the chat so you can see. There is a feedback form for, for this week. I know that's a bit uh, producty, so please fill that if you can. If you don't feel like it, it's okay. Then this is a data dump if you want to check your own performance from this week. And finally, the complete analysis that I'm uh, going to be doing. Uh, this is also available over here on the notion. I'll share these links on the group as well. Okay. Cool. I think we can get started. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 sorry. sorry? Okay. Yeah, we'll stop at the 45 minute mark. Oh, oh yeah, this is the uh, how the quads fared. Um, very surprisingly for a lot of us, our street dance styles was the, was the toughest quad, probably because backing was a bit tough. Um, but, uh, but we actually thought dance entertainment type quads normally do well. Um, and it's the more obscure ones that do badly, but street dance styles is there. High up is not surprisingly fast and furious. So that was by far the easiest quad that most people did. Okay, we'll start uh, with the Ramadan quad. Uh, two people did well in this. They are both Miskitias. They've got three out of four. Uh, are either Subrat or Piyush on the quad? Yeah, I'm not on the list, but best quad. Actually, awesome. second best quad. Awesome. I'll, I'll ask you then. Okay, let's go one by one. Uh, although Muslims were first commanded to fast in the second year of Hijra, uh, they, many religious scholars believe that this was coming from a previous religious observance. What religious observance is this? So, yeah. Lent. Lent is right. Can you tell me your thinking? How did you get Lent? Uh, Syrian Christian church. No? So Syrian Christian is obviously Christian. Eh? Christian fasting is Lent. Okay, can you tell me very, this very matter of factly. I did not know this, but thank you. Uh, okay. Second question uh, from in Ramadan, uh, Muslims get up at dawn for their last meal. What is the last meal called? It means early dawn in Arabic. So, did you, again, this is something you just knew? Uh, no, yeah, I knew Suhur because uh, I'm eating Iftar Halim. Ah, okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, astronauts, what timings do they follow from? Which place of relevance for astronauts? I didn't get this one. I went to because they said place of relevance for them. Yeah. So I thought place of relevance for Islam. Right. A lot of people guessed Mecca. Uh, wasn't correct. For a brief while, we actually, for one quiz maybe, we accepted Houston as an answer. It was wrong. Uh, it's actually Florida. Okay, Canada. Uh, so that mistake has happened. And last question. Uh, uh, after the customary evening prayers, Muslims offer a special prayer. What is that prayer for? Did you know this? No, I, I didn't this know this. called Taravi. I got it. Yes, there are very few people who got it. Uh, so Taravi was answered only four times in the entire quiz league. Uh, so the columns here are, uh, first column is number of attempts, people who got a chance to answer, whether wrong or pass or whatever. Second column is the number of people who got it right. So you can see both Florida and the RV was answered very rarely in the entire league. Uh, only four times in the, uh, uh, for, for the RV and eight times in the Florida extra time. Uh, and that last column is just percentage. Uh, it'll basically tell us difficulty. What what uh, I, th I thought might be interesting for you is, so when we make quads, we make them in order of difficulty, right? So the first level, Lent, is supposed to be the L1, the easiest one. Then Sahar is L2, then Florida is L3, and Tarvi is L4. Uh, Nemo, you want to mute yourself? Okay. Uh, and so the difficulty level on the last column, that should be going in descending order. 67, 25, 73 is good, but uh, you'll see a few that aren't like that. Okay, uh, next quad, paintings, uh, literature. Anybody did well in this? I know Paul Curtin is probably not on the call. Uh, anybody from here want to volunteer for these questions? Uh, yeah, hi. This is Arpita. Hi, Arpita. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. I don't think I was anywhere even close to being a musketeer on this, but I think some of the answers were fairly 
Awesome. You know, get a will. So here goes. It's, it's only just occurring to me that I should have put the images as well in the slides. I did not think of that. Um, but first question: uh, that Picasso painting of a guy on a horse. Which French oh, yeah. character is this? This was Don Quixote. I think it was fairly. Uh, you know, the imagery was uh, quite similar to the book. So yeah, fairly good. Second question was uh, Salvador Dali. What was he doing with Queen's Croquet Ground, Pig and Pepper, and Lobster Patty? Yeah. So Alice in Wonderland. I think for me the clue was the Queen's Croquet Ground. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's where I mostly answered from. Is that is that something from the book, Queen's Croquet Ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where she goes. You know, the game is being played, and then that's where she goes off with their heads and all of that. Okay. Nice. Third question. Uh, John William Waterhouse is doing a maid, an Arthurian maiden from his from a poem. Um, who was this? Oh yeah, I Lady of Shalot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Lady of Shalot. Yeah. yeah. So did did you, did you again? How how does one know this? Because I didn't know this. How does one know I, this? I I had to study it during my uh, graduation days because I hold a degree in English literature. So ah okay. Who, who's speaking? Oh, oh. Sorry, who's speaking? Uh, this is Oprah Thiem. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and last question: uh, Which American poet was shown uh, in that sketch with Mahatma Gandhi? This is Walt Whitman. Uh -huh. uh, I did not get this, but I think the free verse is what the only thing that I know of him. It also uh -huh. looked a lot like Walt Whitman with the flowing beard. Somebody told me that this question had Walt written somewhere uh, on the image. It's maybe very... on, maybe on the image. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very faint. Uh, I don't think most of you would have noticed, but somebody no, said I, that Walt was there. Okay, uh, that's that's it for this quote. Uh, as you can see, we okay. so again, what I'm pointing, what I'm bringing your attention to is the third column. The difficulty level should be in decreasing order, but as you can see, Lady of Shalot turned out to be harder than Walt Whitman. Again, it's not bad enough to cause like uh, too much trouble, but uh, but in this case, that's, also the order breaks. That's, that, that's because there's another poem, Lady of the Lake by Walter Scott. Lady of yeah. Shalot is a very commonly anthologized. people are studying in high school i took i took about 30 40 seconds to decide whether it's lady of the lake or lady of shallot yes uh, next one shaftel sound uh, harvan sorry just yeah. a question yeah. what is the first uh, column of numbers i really should have put headers i'm sorry about that i'll put headers next time it's attempts so number of players who had a chance sometimes the question doesn't even reach you uh, so it's not always the total number of players so attempts include passes as well or only right. attempts at answer Correct. If the question came to you at all, I'm calling that an attempt. So you it could be wrong, could be pass, could be correct. So, could be wrong, could be pass, or a correct answer. Yes, all three. Yes. So basically, it was uh, the question was answered 83 percent of the times that we asked anybody this question. So it will give you a good idea of difficulty. Easy. Don Quixote, by the way, is one of the easiest questions in the quiz, as it turns out, by 83. There is an 81. Uh, you probably can guess what that is. We'll come to that. Shakti, uh, anybody wants to uh, volunteer? Because I know these guys aren't here. Okay, I think I got none of these. <laughs> really, I was I had I was very optimistic about this part. I thought this was music. But I need to see the questions. Uh, I mean, this go for the questions. Okay, opening tale was by Sean Paul and Ziggy Blank and Stephen Blank. Three little birds. Thirty thousand. Sorry. Oh no, no, they were answered. All of them were answered before they came. So yeah, I would have wanted. Only got two anyways. Attempt no. So I'm asking you the question right now. Uh, look at the first question. Tell me what you think. Three little birds. Uh, Ziggy, oh, this Ziggy. was Bob Marley, right? Yes. How how do you get that? How does one know that? I mean, uh, <laughs> I didn't know, so it's hard for me to say. <laughs> I remember Ziggy, Ziggy Marley is. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 From Ziggy, Ziggy I would have gone for David Bowie had it been my direct. Right. Been because asked. because Ziggy starred us, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Right. And on pass, I would have passed. I know so, the Three Little Birds song. It's a, it's the, it's the most common Bob Marley song a lot of people have heard of. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be alright. That whole, it's the most hmm? common Bob Marley song. Second, uh, second question. Um, lies and rumors were by which American hip hop collective? Don't remember this song. Sorry. Uh, who's 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 taking this? See, yeah, please help me. American hip hop collective. Who is this? And it's an initialism oh, I, for Dirty Dozen. I didn't know, but uh, one of the. Um, Best players in the league, uh, Jay Kanthan answered this one. So he knew it. Eminem and D12 apparently. D12 is that? So anybody who was into Eminem at some point uh, may know that Eminem was in a, a rap group as well. It's called D12. So Dirty Dozen was probably the biggest hint in the question. Uh, apart from that, I'm not sure there's any way to get this. 
uh detroit may be helpful again for those of you who may know the mnms from detroit uh okay uh <coughs> next one um we went as we far like as we, we went as far as we felt like going was performed by which girl group started in 95 as a bolest group got somebody tell me how do you answer this see this doesn't work out what i'm going to do from the next word is i'll select one person and that person has to answer apratham you, you volunteered this time and now you're not answering so somebody help no, me no, out i i i will answer when you come to the films because i answer three there this one i know okay. i'll answer the next one i don't remember this anybody anybody got pussy cats uh, dolls right and this call right now i, mm, I don't think somebody else got on my call i think if you know pussy cat dolls you'll probably know about christina applegate having been a part of them so that would probably so i i don't think so i don't i don't think many people are aware that christina applegate was part of the founding members uh, what what came as surprise to a lot of people is people assume pussy cat dolls are more recent than this 95 is very very far away uh, um, so, but nice. but it's because they started as a dance group and then became a music group that's just shows that we are going older than at a quick okay. pace than we would have like last i guess La- last question which 90s american teen pop idol that's pretty much this is, yeah. this is this i got only from the yeah, four, yeah. four octave four octave range. vocal range yeah four, four octave there are only two guesses that you can do is mariah carey and uh-huh. christina aguilera again do you, did you just know this that she has a very uh, an expansive vocal range okay nice uh okay this quad played out fairly okay uh, again the difficulty level kind of goes sending so that is aguilera also, yeah wait. And that's like, that can be amazing thank you sorry go ahead oh. thanks man uh, <laughs> next one is street uh, street uh, street dance styles uh, absolutely nobody did well in this um, this is the hardest chord in the entire quiz sorry i can take this who who saying this me divya divya perfect uh, cool uh, first question for you um, and uh, let her answer first and then everybody else is speaking uh, question is uh, what dance became popular michael jackson performed it as part of dancing machine uh, the movement has abrupt stops giving the impression of motor starting and stopping yeah uh, this is robotics or robot robot is correct did you did you just yeah. know that i knew it but it didn't come to me so okay. yeah so abrupt stop start yeah motors dancing and machine more than that jackson 5 and robot kind of Oh I didn't know that. I did not know that Jackson 5 and Robot is a thing. My biggest takeaway from this entire quad was like the ASL quad last week people were just gesticulating and trying to come up with an answer according to what you described. Mm. People, to, people also stopped popping and kept going for locking because pop and lock is a thing. <laughs> okay, second question uh Divya uh which dance form consists of top rock, down rock, power moves and freeze. It's done with a Puma This speed sticker. B boying. Yes, we were so also talking about the down draw car free sir b boying so i just knew that but again yes. this didn't come to me yes so b boying and dig dancing also were something i didn't know they were the same thing apparently there yeah yeah uh, third question uh, which one involves moving your body in a shimming style and passing your hand through or near the hair on one's own head yeah this is teach, this is duggy has anybody heard of this before the quiz yeah no. duggy this is the step oh, that's interesting okay i did not know this uh, Please show hand somebody in the chat or something. I'm really curious. Has anybody uh, have other people heard of this? No, I have. Avika has already said sorry. So yeah. <laughs> And last question of this. Uh, it's extremely expressive, free form of dance with strong emphasis on arm movements, posing, and improv. It used to be called punky. Don't remember. This is whacking. Did you know this? Yeah, this I got. This came to me. So Dougie and Wacking came to me, and I got it. Right. Um. One second. I'll just open the analysis also, sir, sir, because there were a couple of questions that are answered by very few people. I think Wacking was one of them. So let me just uh, put up the names of the people who got those ones. Wacking. Mm. Avikan, Bhartwaj, and Divya were the only ones who got Wacking. Ah, uh, we'll see if we get Taravi. Also, we got like very few people. Four of them. Um. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Okay. Uh, difficulty level again, not uh, not too bad. Lacking turned out to be the, one of the hardest quizzes uh, questions in the whole league. Moving on. Uh, great game. I should tell you, I got zero in this. I would not have gotten a single one of this right. Uh, but two people. Two or two or so of this I got. Sangeet, you want to you want to attempt? Sure. First question for you. Uh, what was the title of the book? Now that you know, it started. Okay. What, what was the title of the book? The great game. I got this. Yeah. Again. Um. Now, can someone explain how they know this? Because I've never heard the term in my life. I mean, if you, I, I first it. came across it in the 
Sherlock Holmes the first book when Watson is talking man. about the Afghan war and then and then it's there in history all over the place nice i nice. guess okay uh, second question which literary work um uh, that ha- that unfolds against the backdrop of the great game yeah. this didn't come to me but i knew it it's so kim and kipling would you have said the sherlock holmes book because you said that that's why you heard about the term no because the uh, indian born english author right yeah. i went with jungle book <laughs> jungle book uh, oh but, but you could have guessed the author also no yeah either okay uh then uh, uh so third question is which emirate in modern day uzbekistan it has it is famed for historic center featuring many mosques yeah there's no one in our game board but uh, after i after you said it i recalled that it was ukara you recalled what no i i, I knew this but i had forgotten the name it was ukara okay uh, again any any way to have figured this out or do you need to know this you need to know this i think i am not sure if you could have figured it out got it uh last question uh there are two events one of them was that uh, the afghanistan no- northern border was along which geographic entity mm-hmm. and the ve- question very this was amur darya right yeah amur darya oh sorry yeah so this was amur darya yeah yeah i said hindu kush and i guess the uh, oxania instead of oxus yes so oxus uh-huh. is also one of the acceptable answers so only rishikesh varma ashwin kumar and bhagav vishnathan got that right Lots of Actually, I, also, I also got that right. Yeah. Who, who I this? said Oxania because oh. it's always called Trans Oxania, and okay. I yeah, I said Oxania. It should have been Oxus. Somebody was saying they got that right. Who is that? I move in here. I got it right. Amu Darya. I will check that out. I'm sorry. I'll, I'm not sure why that didn't come up. Actually, wait. I I think I checked your game a little late, but okay. I'll check that out. Okay. Uh, Our game was played late. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, <laughs> Colombian Exchange uh, is Aditi here, or anybody else on stage? Nope. Was that a no for nobody else? Must somebody please somebody say yes. The twenty two no the nineteen of you man one person can attempt come on. Moven are you volunteering? What? Okay thanks. Uh, first question for you. Yeah. In the late fifteenth yeah. and following centuries, a uh, widespread transfer of a bunch of things across the Atlantic Ocean was named after whom? Yeah, I knew this. Uh, this is a well known thing in uh, the Colombian <laughs> exchange. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yeah, I knew this because of my reading. I knew. Awesome. And uh, in in Colombian exchange, which crop uh, was changed family? And next next generation is part of it. Yeah, this one I knew because I had asked this uh, before. The whole uh, this uh, next generation is very interesting because uh, um, many people, many cultures didn't know how to use this crop because if you don't do this, uh, you you can uh, it doesn't you cannot digest that. You know, it's a very interesting. Uh, which the which the people who went from uh, uh, europe had to learn from the local indians how to do this good question so again um, again from my reading not from quizzing i know it because i yeah is there a difference i'm sorry yes definitely i do okay. uh, i i read for pleasure in astronomy and oh, wow. uh, i okay. read natural history and all that for just for none of it turns up in quizzes so i It probably shows up as your questions, no, in AQL or something. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. why they're different. Yeah. Right. Okay. Third question for you: Which precious? Which actually doesn't say which precious metal, just says which metal was, uh, was found was in Potosi uh, before one of it. Yeah. Potosi, I I knew. I was debating between tin and uh, silver, then, uh, but uh, finally I remembered that uh, uh, Potosi. I remember because that was a center for uh, uh, silver. So I was debating. I was not hundred percent certain. When you say debating, did you know that it was a mint? That's why tin or silver. You no, know, I knew it was a mine. There were massive mining going on there. But what yeah. metal between tin and uh, silver? I was debating. Good. Uh, a bunch of other people uh, guessed for uh, iron, copper, uh, gold. I always felt sad if somebody said gold instead of silver. It seems like we should get right for the funder. But what? Mm-hmm. Last question: Which city? I. I was told this is a very confusing question. It's hard to figure out which which side you're looking for. When did you get this right? No, I couldn't figure out at all. I was thinking of a city in uh, Europe, and this turned out to be Manila. It's a very nice question, actually. Yeah, I okay. think it's a very mm-hmm. nice question. Uh, I got lots yes. of values for this question. Lots of values. People. <laughs> a nice people... question, but framed in a confusing way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New world, old world part. Yeah, the grand majority of people in all across quizzes guessed new world cities, which made me realize that apparently the framing. Yeah, is... I said Buenos Aires would not have gone in that direction. Yeah, so. the question is just framed badly. It makes you think new world instead of old world. Hmm. Okay. Um. So yeah, Manila, as you can see, was answered precisely twice in the entire quiz. Uh, it was the toughest question in in the entire quiz. Lifestyle, nail paint terms, my favorite word. 
um one of my own actually uh, who's who's attempting i'm here so i can take this is, the Ar- this is arpita yeah. Yeah, this is Arpita. Okay, first question for you. Uh, what do you call nail polish? A nail polish that has a consciously dull finish. Yeah, so I think consciously dull finish should have just you know been the question, yeah. which is mad in any terms. Uh, that, so yeah, that's that's where I got it from. I I know a bunch of people who actually didn't go with mad because it seemed too simple, too so basic, and yeah, yeah. can't possibly be the answer you're looking for. Absolutely. Like I also waited like my full thirty seconds before finally going with mad. uh but yeah okay. second question what's the what's the basis of nail polish removers yeah so this is acetone i think the uh, uh smallest ketone and of course i think the, this is a fairly well known usage of acetone is to remove paint and nail polish and stuff like that so right uh next is i think my, my favorite question of the call um what was created by jeff pink he took it to the catwalk crowd in blank and then rebranded it Yeah, so these were French tips of French manicure. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, like I knew it from general life experience, <laughs> but uh, uh, I guess the catwalk crowd would have been the other way to get it. Uh, but I don't know if people have gotten would have gotten French manicure from that. But anything somewhere close to France. It, Did that help anybody on the call? The catwalk crowd in blank was that helpful for anybody who answered the question? Okay. Okay. Uh, Uh, last question. Um, I think this this one I'm very glad got answered. I'll be worried about this question as the week was progressing. Um, what substance is used? What 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 product is used? Whose trade name was first known by Dow Chemical? You press down on the nail and then you pull away. Yeah. So uh, I think initially I went with foil based on how the question was worded, scrunched a ball of something, right? Uh, yeah. But I think the trade name and then Dow Chemical made it better, and then I was also prompted. So I think Sarin Rap makes it. There were four people who finally saved this question: um, Arpita, Jayanti, Akansha, and and Tanvi. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, difficulty levels again: acetone turned out to be easier than mat. So the order was still up there. Apart from that, fine. Super apps. Who, who wants to take this? Anybody else from this list? Did Anil join? Anil Anil shows up in Mystic Tears three times. He was one question away from uh, from Muskit in, in three separate categories. Anybody wants to tap? Uh, I got two of those answers. Who, who is this? Ah, uh, Vamsi. Vamsi, hi. Uh, first question for you. Uh, which company developed by Tencent? Uh, used primarily in China. It has. It's. It's impossible to survive without the super app. Yeah. Uh, so the, I. I actually didn't get this uh, question. I didn't answer it, but it's a uh, pretty uh, well known in that. In in, in Asia, there are three most well known uh, super apps. And this is one of those parts, parts where people probably knew what the other answers were even before the question showed up. They, you know, they're going to cover Gojek or Grab or something like that. Yeah, Gojek, Grab, and WeChat are like these super apps, right? Right. So this this is WeChat uh, common knowledge, I would assume. Okay. Uh, next question. Um, this is super app often credited to Mike Lazaridis, um, and he was the founder of what smartphone making company that was decimated by Android and Apple. Again, uh, I didn't know that uh, the person uh, uh, had term, coined the term uh, super app, but uh, BlackBerry would have been an obvious uh, guess on the smartphone category, decimated by Apple and Android. I was also told that we made a mistake because in saying smartphone meaning making company instead of product. Yeah, like that. it should have been research in motion. If you're asking for the company, is research in motion. Right. BlackBerry right. was the product. Yeah, I don't we... know to change the name of the company to BlackBerry later on. acha so we ideally we should have added that to the pdf and just accepted it if somebody felt like any research motion i i hope anybody who said research motion got points for that um let me know uh third question of uh, indonesian on demand multi service platform is there any hints here i'm not sure i think it's just okay. indonesian uh, super app nothing else. hint i guess two wheel uh two wheel ride hailing services is a pretty big hint okay okay and and what what was the answer then uh go check And and last question of this uh, quad, uh, which Asian super app found by two Malaysians as my taxi. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, I w- wanted to say Gojek, and then realized that Gojek is Indonesian, and I went for the other Southeast, uh, their uh, main competitor, and I went for Grab there. Yes. And because how do we do? WeChat turned out to be a little harder than expected. It was supposed to be our L one, the easiest question, but not that many people ended up getting it. Idea. Ah, uh, spiritual sequels. Which I think is currently winning for uh, favorite quad. Uh, there is a feedback link in the chat, by the way. And if you want to please pick your favorite quad, just so we know what to make more of. 
Uh, this was, I think, uh, called out uh, regularly as as something people enjoyed doing. I, although I am confused about this. Normally, you are when you ask for two, when you ask two questions instead of one, you know, because people get annoyed because because it's like harder. Um, but yeah, for this one, in this case, yeah, I, I think it's yeah. In this case, in this case I is. think it's because uh, one of them is obvious, and so it's more like yeah. guessing one answer rather than guessing two answers. I was hoping for that. I was hoping that uh, one is straightforward, but which one that is is often different for different people. I noticed like, as we were conducting. Yeah. Hey, uh, who wants to attempt? Carlitos way was slightly yeah. more. I am here. Very very slightly. Oh, I couldn't attempt. Okay, after them. Yeah, no, uh, I got it, but very yeah. very slightly tougher than the rest. I heard of it. So I, I kind of I I'm sure everybody does this. I assume that the movies that I watched when I was a little younger probably watched by everybody. So it's absolute bullshit assumption, but that's how uh, I think, which is why I often make that mistake. Anyway, uh, there's a red- there's redemption reading there's red- that's really- yeah I was I was told this as if it was a mistake how can you put redemption in the question what's wrong with putting redemption in the question generally yeah, if uh, no part of the answer is there in a the question I know but that's really not a requirement at all so I I I mean I I I hear no, you no, no, it's not it's not like fault or anything right right we don't okay. we haven't encountered that. After them, uh, fresh movie, gangster movies by Martin Scorsese. Um, yeah, so the same dates. Goodfellas and Casino. Did you did you get both these? Yeah, I got uh, three. I did not get Scarface. I did not get Carlitos. We got the other three. Okay. I said Scarface and something else. I don't remember. Second one was uh, uh, movies directed by Frank Darabont about Stephen King works in prison. It has the word redemption. Yeah, Shawshank Redemption and Dream Life. Aparna, who is uh, probably the only quiz that I read for, she got Green Mile, but she struggled with Shawshank Redemption, which I thought was the other way around for most people. I'm guessing that two, three doesn't always have the word. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan in two movies. Yeah, so sleepless. Yes. They're genuinely difficult to tell apart if you see posters of these two movies. Yeah, they're like exact, pretty much the same yeah. movie. And finally, uh, 8393, directed by Brian Palmer and Al Pacino. I'm so glad yeah. it's L4. Our face and Carlitos. We haven't, I've watched seven of these movies, only haven't watched Carlitos. Don't have gone for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Carlitos we ended up being the like uh, the hardest as expected. But like, yeah, yeah. But, but Shawshank turned out to be easier than Goodfellas and Casino, which was unexpected for me. Okay. Uh, Fast and Furious, as you can see, a lot of people did well in this part. Uh, yeah. A, a lot of people got three out of four. Uh, anybody who's on the call right now wants to attempt it? Yeah, I'm on the call. Pane. Pane. Question for you. Who plays Dom Toretto? Vin Diesel. <laughs> I have got a list of people. Oh, there's a list. I had a list of people who, who didn't get this right. I thought we found. There you go. Who oh, missed Vin Diesel? Okay. Yes. Yeah, that, yes that's, that, is, that is nice. It's very rare that I get to uh, you know, make a big deal out of missing something. But this question I'm genuinely... The, I'm one of the proud people who didn't get it. Moment, yeah, I saw, I, I saw, I saw. Not only did you not get it, you got it wrong. I'm very curious about what you said. I said rock. Rock. Okay. I, I knew it was on bald guy. I don't know which bald guy. So I said rock. <laughs> okay. So, second question: Who is uh, Jacob Toretto? John Cena. John Cena is right. Who is uh, Giselle Yashar? Uh, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot is right. And who is Tej? I think this is the only one that can be genuinely classified as a reasonably difficult question. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Ludacris, the fourth one, I didn't get that. Uh, okay. And and even uh, Gal Gadot didn't come to me. Uh, okay. I got three in the previous pod, actually. I, you, you might have got my like slide wrong. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Shit. Maybe it's possible. If they're right next to each other in particular, yeah, I could have done that. Uh, this is the list of people who missed Vin Diesel. Yeah, uh, quick, quick round of applause. It, <laughs> it, I, I, it happens. It's it's a very fun thing that uh, that these things can actually happen. That you know the name, you can describe the person, you can see the face, but but the name's just not coming to you. Uh, I thought that was very fun to watch. Question now for sciences. Uh, who's who's taking measurements of time? I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. First question: What is the unit of time, which is in English a very short time? Uh, Jiffy. Did you know? Yeah. This this I think people could have guessed also. It's a popular funda. Jiffy is a proper unit of time. I I remember reading a slightly different funda about this, which is a Jiffy was one millionth of a second or something like that. Yeah, exactly. I've heard about this one as well. Yes. One millionth of a second. Something like that. Not exactly. Yeah, so sure so okay. it can't be both that and this, no? No, it can't be. But uh, people would have heard that funda and could have guessed it, I guess. I think on your direct, it makes sense to go for Jiffy on this anyway. Yes. On your yeah. ask you probably would. 
second question which metal at room temperature uh, derives its name from latin for sky blue yeah ccm i think it's uh, popular knowledge that ccm is used in atomic clocks and stuff and okay. the standard second and stuff oh yeah right ccm clock i have heard ccm clock i did not yeah. think that was i didn't think there was a clue in this question but turns out you're right there is a ccm clock thing uh does sky blue help anybody i thought it was kind of helping me but i can't pinpoint how i was trying to latin for sky blue and then just got stuck yeah didn't help me because I mean, even if you know CCM, then you don't need to uh, think along those lines. Yeah, even yeah. I even for the clues, liquid at room temperature, sky blue, and I got thrown off. I should have just thought of seconds and whatever time and stuck to CCM. Yeah. Third question: uh, Lustrum is is what? Yeah, I I I think I've read this somewhere. I guess sensors. Yeah, but it, it was. was <laughs> I don't think it was. obvious in the question people yeah. had good answers other other guesses also yeah. what is interesting like, is it my game somebody said election for this which i thought was a very good answer yeah lots of people went for elections I, elections I budgets and stuff all yeah. are good answers yeah elections is a pretty good answer i i didn't hear budgets but i i imagine that would also have come frequently uh census also answer fairly frequently i think yeah 40% um uh, past my galactic year uh, did anybody get this wrong yeah uh, in our quiz uh, it was said that it was wrong to say solar system around the milky way but that is also a correct answer yeah, um, those, i knew all four of these but only got uh, to answer one <laughs> uh how did this do uh, pretty much all of them were equally difficult we didn't really mm-hmm. end up achieving much of a pattern over here uh, jiffy was as you can see not significantly easier than sun around the milky way uh diseases uh, cross places anybody You guys really make me work for this, man. Somebody should be volunteering. I shouldn't have to work this hard. So, call out by name one second. So, what do you want to do? Yeah, but compulsory, so not everyone is going to attend. <laughs> I think it's good I to have that. I can do that. Yeah, having it on Sunday. So, who's 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 volunteering? I'll volunteer. So, what? Thanks, so Sujit. Uh, first question: uh, Which disease is historically called the the Siberian plague because it was prevalent over there? It was used in the bioterrorism attack on the US. Uh, this one I knew, but it did not came. It's anthrax. It's, it's only anthrax. because of the bioterrorism attack, right? Did yeah, you... only because of the bioterrorism attack. But uh, I had I had never heard of Siberian plague before, but the terrorism mm-hmm. attack that so the cattle crazy. part also probably is useful. Cat- like yeah, stocking. Second question, uh, which is German measles, and uh, it comes from the red rash, Latin word for red. Yeah. That's this is rubella. Yeah. Did you know that? This yeah. Yeah. This is one where the clue helps. Latin for red. Latin for red is. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And Barbados distemper is. Yeah. This. This I did not knew, but I know that if you are traveling to these nations, you have to take an injection for yellow fever. It did oh, wow. not come for. But if you are traveling to any of for my work reason, you have to travel for any of these Zambia or any of these places. They really tell you that you would have to take the uh, injection for yellow fever. Did anybody here get it right because of that? Okay, that you had a personal experience with, with getting vaccinated. I got, I got rubella right because I got a vaccine for similar oh, wow. reasons like a couple of months ago. Who's this? Who's this? Uh, Akshay. Akshay. Hi, Nupal here. I also got yellow fever. I had to take it before going to Guatemala. <laughs> you get this right? right? Uh, yeah, I got got yellow you fever. Get the question right? Of, yeah, yeah, yellow fever. Nice. And you got yellow fever because getting it. Also, there's a vaccine which is MMR, which mm-hmm. covers measles, mumps, and rubella. Mm-hmm. So oh, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. I knew this funda German measles is rubella because of an Agatha Christie novel where somebody gets rubella and it's if it was German measles also. <laughs> Last question. Uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah. I'm gonna add a question. You had given that grudgingly give uh, three day measles. Yeah. I never heard of that term before. Neither have I. Uh, Vikas, do you know much about that? This, this isn't my point. Uh, I have no idea, but in case someone went and said that, I just made sure all the alternative names are covered. So, <laughs> you, we had an unusual number of screw ups so far. It's only been two weeks, but we had Slave Dynasty, we had Rachel Taylor versus Sarah Taylor, we had a, a, a couple of mistakes. So, we're getting better. Uh, question: What was the last one? Typhus. Okay. Typhus. They, yeah. Typhus. Um, Again, uh, oh, this is probably our best performing quad in terms of it's doing what it's supposed to. The easiest question, seventy-three percent of the time, then to be like thirty percent yellow fever, twenty-five percent. Nice breakup. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Obviously, yeah. but uh, but that's what we're going for. Sport. Uh, 
lots of people did well we have musketeers here uh, rishiraj sumed and jun are our first musketeers uh, plus for them if they here i don't think they are anybody who wants to attempt this please i can take this nemo okay first question which italian character was <laughs> yeah italian was enough on this is mario you live in india also helps by the way this has to be the most answered question of the set right i mean is it yeah it's it's probably the most answered question in the league actually it is for sure uh <laughs> second question uh which uh, video game franchise has has zombie and apocalyptic setting so this is resident evil and uh, the thing that helped was highest crossing live action film and film franchise so the franchise part also helped knowing that you know they are like five six films on resident evil why not have you played the game i i've seen other people play the game so I knew that it was a proper game i i only knew this is a movie i didn't know there were games at all uh, yeah, i was not aware of the video game connections either i only thought I and mean, i thought it was only a movie uh, it's one of the very few okay. question simon belmont is killing dracula which game is this so i did not know this but thankfully somebody had attempted castlemania previously hmm. in a set and then the question oh. came up to me and then i remembered castlemania and then it made sense reading the question Chimp. <laughs> so I so I shamelessly copied their answer and Castle Mania turned out to be. Awesome. I was at a quiz uh, yesterday in which uh, the answer was the question was what is the sequel to Magic Mike? Um, first person said Michael uh, Magic Mike Triple XL. The reader said wrong. Second person said Mike Magic Mike XL. The reader said wrong. Third was me. I said Mike Magic Mike Double XL, and it was correct. <laughs> so <laughs> it's horrible. You feel bad, but you still take the point. Maybe they should have had a prompt or something. Yeah, I guess but I'm guessing in in offline quizzing you can't. Keep prompting you. Keep going forever. Uh, incidentally, Castlevania is also the question for which I got people like being properly annoyed that they missed it. Uh, <laughs> I never actually played this, but uh, but it was very important to some people. And yeah. fourth question: uh, Which uh, video game is a Japanese science fiction franchise owned by Capcom? So I, I feel I felt bad for not getting this. Uh, I thought a I thought a bit, and then I uh, guessed uh, uh, I think Sonic, which yeah. is not uh, Capcom; it is Sega. Uh, but I couldn't remember Mega Man. Uh, which this one is, yeah. Mega Man, I didn't um, really know that like hundred three games yeah. in the franchise. I always think of Mega Man as like maybe five four games. Look, difficulty level drops very nicely over here again. Uh, it is like thirty or twenty six thirty. Ah, not bad. Nice, nice distribution. Okay. Female female cricketers. Uh, another uh, popular chord. Uh, to my embarrassment, I didn't know any of these answers. Um, but uh, but quite a lot of people did well in this. Thanks to I think recent coverage of the World Cup. um like i did not watch the world cup but by seeing you guys performance i realized uh okay we've apparently covered the event very well because lots of people had very good answers for this uh anybody want to must attempt this yeah i'll take it rahul rahul you are i can take it rahul okay uh, which indian female cricketer won the uh, won the world cup in 18 and 21 uh yeah. yeah this was my direct answer for the mandala did you know the answer yeah yes. I knew all four of this. Answer two and another guy answered two in office. Oh shit! Which one? I got uh, Smriti Mandana and Sara Tala. Okay, sure, good. Right. Um, second question. Uh, which Australian female cricketer she made one seventy, which is the highest in the World Cup decider? Alisa Haley. Yes. Uh, third question was Australian female cricketer. Actually, you know, um, although these are like, I mean, it's a it's a decent quad and people ended up enjoying it. They're all pure trivia though. Like, there's no way you can. can figure stuff no, out yeah the elis perry question which is a football cricket thing is very yeah, famous only elis perry is the proper uh, we can get from something else is possible yeah it's been asked for like the last 6 7 years and oh sorry uh, and fourth question uh, who is the greatest wicket keeper that the women's team has produced sir atela this is all straight forward question we mm-hmm. messed all up all that question by the way uh, for the first few Which, uh, questions we were accepting Rachel Taylor, which is just a pure mistake. It was no logic there at all. We had to fix that. Rachel is another player apparently, and, and we had that uh, as the accepted answer. So Taylor is uh, again. I mean, again, yes. if you if you were safe and you said Taylor, you would have gotten points. But yeah, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise why would if you're confused? Why would you say anything like that? Don't. So this is one of those things that people who quiz a lot. I was corrected because I said Sarah Taylor. And... Yeah, yeah. We we fixed it later. Uh, quickly, just sharing the feedback form again. Um, again, sorry for doing that, but uh, take, you know, fill that if you can. Last two categories left. We have six minutes. We're doing very well on time. Um, God's own country. Who's attempting? Anybody from this list available? Here? I'm Akshay. Akshay, hi. Uh, question for you. 
uh, which three word term uh, was created by Walter Mendes, which is the tagline for Indian state. It was answered on the direct, but yeah, it's God's own country. So I guess it's oh, the main state with the tagline in India that you would associate. Much. With. Yeah, yeah, it's the first tagline oh. I heard at least. Uh, but which... uh, there's a like the Niti Aayog chairman Amitabh Khan. He keeps saying that he coined the term. So I <laughs> I skip that and I guess the heart of India for Madhya Pradesh. <laughs> yeah, that was my other. Uh, second question: Which county uh, that had God in it for a while? Yeah, I, I mean, I was confused between Yorkshire and Lancashire, and I just went with Yorkshire, but Isn't not it? because of the God. I realized the God was Sachin only when someone posted in the WhatsApp group today. What did you think it was? Uh, I don't know. I didn't bother about it. I thought oh, maybe nice. it's WG Grace or something. Wow, so you got it without that hint? Uh, yeah, because those are the Manchester is in the north. Then. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay. Third question: God defend blank was uh, which country's uh, national anthem apart from God save the queen? Yeah, I thought this had to be some like Commonwealth country, which is known for being like scenic and so on. So, I mean, I was either a Caribbean island or New Zealand, so I just went with New Zealand. I think I'd seen it before. Oh, nice. And finally, Ian Smith. Uh, New Zealand is well known. Yeah, yeah I'm saying God defend New Zealand is well known. Ah, okay. I, I didn't know that they also use God save the queen, which kind of throws you off. It threw me off at least. Fourth question: What is the jewel of Africa? Uh, yeah, English con- country, which I mean, English colonized some country. So, I, th- I mean, I, I guess I knew Zimbabwe was from that time when they came, came out of British. Yeah, somebody in my game said South Africa, and then I realized that it has to be Zimbabwe. <laughs> well, how does that? How does South Africa tell you it's Zimbabwe? Uh, so White English. Why? Ah, okay. It could have been something like Ghana or Nigeria as well, but I just, I mean, went with Zimbabwe. So, I not... didn't get this one, but I knew from Ian Smith. I knew that was the last uh, white president of and also South, South Africa. Africa would probably before, uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I thought I had updated these heat averages, but I guess I haven't right now because the owns are actually much more even than this. I'll have to update that. Um, last word for today: uh, Indian cities with the twin um, or city twinning or whatever. Um, Sagi, it's done enough. Anybody else wants to attempt this? Yeah, we just... Okay, fans, Agit, you want to attend this? Okay. Thanks. Which city in India uh, has Montreal and Hindu as its twin cities? It is Anglicized spelling of the local name, uh, secondary character in Hindu, Hindu epic. Yeah, I just guessed Lakshman because of the secondary character. So, so Lucknow, I guess. Yes, I, I, I felt like a lot of people thought, were able to think of Lakshman, but couldn't jump from Lakshman to Lucknow. Uh, yeah. And... I just saw Hindu goddess and went with Chandigarh. Did not go for the same. And got it wrong on pass. Yeah. Second uh, question. I, yeah. I went with both Lakshmi, Lakshman and then Lakshman. Yeah. All, all full jump I did. Wow. Uh, Twin City very aptly considering Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> this was so tragic. I guess Dharma it was Dio. <laughs> there's, there's honestly, there's nothing in the question that tells you whether it's Dharma or Dio. Either of yeah. them are perfectly valid guesses. It's just a main question. Realize yeah. later. Uh, third question. Menlo Park, Norfolk and Piyati Gorsk. Uh, it was an yeah. important spice trading center. I got it because Ming Portuguese and Dutch Kuchi. Yes. And yeah, I think I, I feel like the third one might have been one of the easier ones in this part. Uh, and and fourth question was which experimental down? I think that's the only hint. Experimental yeah, or, down and state and union territory. Yeah, or I this was easy, I guess, because of the state and union. I performance wise, yeah, I will I suppose it is easy. They're all roughly the same difficulty. I've gotten musketeer in this if I had guessed you. <laughs> oh shit! Really? You you were one answer away, really? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's 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 about it. I forgot. Sorry. Uh, so that, uh, that completes our uh, our retro for today. I've already shared links for the answers. I put them on the group as well. Uh, feedback form is there. The question set has now been shared with you. Uh, musketeer stuffies are all called out, and I've also given the same dump. I removed the report card feature because honestly, it's hard to consume, and I don't see anybody uses it. So I'll figure out some other way of like presenting uh, insights that actually help. Uh, for now, the dump is there. Tell me what you're looking for. If there's something interesting. Bala had asked for something which I thought was quite nice. Uh, find the person in the quiz league who answered uh, at least one question in the maximum number of quads, okay? which is like maximum diversity. So I wasn't able to calculate that. This time I will figure it out for week, week three. If there's so anything else, you're going to do that for every uh, game week or like cumulatively? 
yeah i mean if i find out a nice automated way to do it i'll do it every uh, game week so i think it game week to game week is probably easier i mean that's what some seems like you know but then you could just put that together to it yeah yeah okay cool uh that's about it and making perfect time we have 38 seconds left bye bye friends tata Oh, there was a timer on all this. Yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have stopped at the forty-five minute mark no matter what. <laughs> Did not notice it anyway. So, do we get the draws tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, I won't be able to do okay. something like that. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Good night. Thanks, Good night. everyone. Good night. Thank Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Nice effort. Night, folks. Bye.